Manny, um, what's what's different about the FA Cup? Um, it's a very special cup, you know, one of the most known cups in all over the world and in English football. And uh, what's well, it's so different is that you don't know who you're playing in terms of after the draw comes out, you can be playing in teams in, or in a conference or in Brighton. I mean, it gives a lot of it gives all the clubs from the Premier League to the Ryman the opportunity, you know, to play against each other. So, how much do you know already then about Macclesfield? Um, played against them last year, you know, when we was in the conference. They're very strong. They're a very strong side, and you see, look at the moment they're doing well in the league, you know. But we won't underestimate them. You know, we've played against them already last year, so um, you know what to expect. And I suppose they'll know what to expect from Forest Green as well. Is this the first time you've actually played in the first round proper? Um, for myself? Uh, I think so. I think uh, last year when I was with Bath, I think we went to like the third, third preliminary round or something like that. Yeah. And unfortunately we lost, but I think uh, this is my first ever proper first round, which I'm very happy and privileged to be uh, part of. I was going to say, does that make it more special for you now to be playing rather than in the qualifying rounds, but in you know, the first round proper then? Yeah, it does, you know, yeah, because uh, it's my first time and um, we want to get far. And it's just a good opportunity to be uh, part of. Presumably, Macclesfield will see Forest Green as a scalp, obviously Rovers are the league club, so mm -hmm. you've got that to defend against, but... Also, where so many of the Forest Green players have, like yourself, played in the non-league, yeah. you'll know what they'll be thinking, you'll know what they'll be trying to do and achieve. Yeah, you know, they've, they've come, you know, they're coming here, you know, they're, they're trying to get the job done. But we played against them before last season in the league, and we played against them in the FA Trophy, but unfortunately we lost. Uh, we got knocked out by them. But, um, you know, it's, you know, it's gone. See, now we're just focusing on Saturday. And hopefully we should uh, get the job done and win the game. How's the cheekbone? Because obviously you had that time out with the was it the cheek or the broken jaw? You had, you had a facial yeah. injury, didn't you? Yeah. Is that all recovered now? Yeah, it's recovered. You know, unfortunately, um, um, I fractured my my cheekbone the day before. Uh, I think it was uh, against the Accrington match, so which was unlucky, you know. But. Um, it's, it's fully healed now, so it's been a bit like over a month now. So I had to give we had to give it time to heal. I mean, physically I was fine, but obviously for precaution and for um, concussion, and I had to give a lot of time to heal. So, but now I'm I'm fit. And on Tuesday night in the Checker Trade Trophy, you started off in central midfield. How was that for you? I mean, yeah, it's. Uh, it's, it's a good position, you know, I'm not, not very familiar with them, I've only played it like once or twice, but it's good because obviously it helps me part of my game, you know, me, me more flexible, playing different positions, you know, and um, it's a position where, you know, you, I can show more, you know, you know, it's out of my comfort zone, so, which is good, which adds, you know, can add a bit to my game, so, yeah. You finish though? in the defence, uh, probably yeah. more at home there, and yeah. if, if Alex isn't fit in time, then obviously competing for a place. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, Alex uh, injured himself in Tuesday, on Tuesday, so um, I don't know what's the latest of him, but, you know, I'm always I'm ready to go, 100%, you know, I'm f fully fit, so hopefully I'll be given a chance. And the gaffer always says that you know, if your mind is right, then you know, you're an exceptional player. Is that something that you can work on to make sure that you, you know, you're always 100% at it, if you like? Um, yeah, it's true, you know, it's, you know, because I'm, I'm a young player, you know, and, you know, I'm still learning my trade. And, um, you know, it's just, full of it's ups and downs, you know, but it's all how you deal with it. So I think once, you know, once my, if I can work on my mentality a bit more, then I'll be in a 
a sexual player. Yeah, exactly. And it's, I suppose it's just keep learning, isn't it? It's keep learning. <laughs> yeah, it's all about learning, you know. I'm still learning my, learning my graft, you know. I'm still, still looks a bit that I need to improve on. But obviously that will, that will come with, you know, game time and, and playing. You know, I'm always willing to learn. I'm always watching my clips. I'm watching fellow professionals that I look up to um, every week, every week, you know. You know, learning how you know they play and obviously their decision making. I think it's just about decision making. Once I, I mean, if once my decision making is a bit more point, then be the exceptional player. Good man. Good luck.